In this short tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and use a drop-down list for cells in a Google Spreadsheet. We're going to go ahead and use the sample spreadsheet, which is actually a chemical list that uh, would be used in a hypothetical um, outline or planning guide for an experiment that would span multiple days. And these cells here in this column called chemicals needed uh, we're going to go ahead and use drop-down lists in each cell to go ahead and allow a teacher or student to quickly choose um, a piece of data that's going to go into the field. We're going to actually have a list of chemicals to choose from, and I'm going to show you how you can set that up very easily. Go ahead and click on the first cell that you want to have your drop-down list show up in. This is going to be our template cell. We're going to go ahead into the data menu, go down to validation, Within here, we're going to choose under criteria, we're going to select items from a list, and here we're going to choose the second option, enter your list items. From right within here, we can go ahead and enter whatever list or options of data that are going to be available in our particular drop-down list. So since this is a, a, a high school uh, chemistry experiment, we're going to have a list of chemicals that are going to be used. So I'm going to enter my sample items here. Chlorine, acid, potassium, vinegar, and silver nitrate. As soon as I have my different options in the box entered right here, we can go ahead and make sure that this select, selected box is chosen, show a list of items in a drop-down menu. That's going to actually create our drop-down um, cell. We're going to go ahead and click on Save. And now this little blue down arrow denotes that this is actual a, actually a, a, a drop-down box. If we click on that, we can go ahead and choose any of the different chemicals to be entered into that particular cell. If I wanted to make it really easy, and now spread this same kind of box with the same options across all of these cells here. I could go ahead and just fill them the normal fill style of going down to the bottom right hand corner of the cell, waiting for the blue crosshair to show up, and simply holding and dragging that all the way down across those cells. So now I have a drop down box for each of the cells and in this hypothetical experiment setup, I can go ahead and quickly uh, go ahead and choose any of the chemicals that are needed for that particular day. So I'm going to choose potassium needed for day one. We'll also need some acid. We'll need some vinegar. And to top it off, some silver nitrate. And all the other days can be filled in in just the same way. So that's just an example of how you can go ahead and create a drop-down box in any cell within a Google spreadsheet.